ELMA stands for the Atacama Large Military Array. This is the largest and most complex observatory on the planet and was built thanks to the collaboration of North America, East Asia and Europe, which developed this innovative scientific instrument in northern Chile. ELMA, the most complex astronomical observatory in the world. Characteristics of the ELMA Observatory ELMA is not a telescope, since it is not made with lenses but antennas. ELMA is classified as an astronomical interferometer or radio telescope made up of 66 gigantic high-precision satellite dishes. These are divided into two sizes. 54 of them are 12 meters wide and 12 antennas are 7 meters wide. The total collection area of this matrix is more than 71,000 square feet. Even though the 12 meter antennas are gigantic, they can be gently transported on the back of custom-made antenna conveyors to form assemblies that are very tight configurations only 150 meters wide or spread over an extended area of 16 kilometers wide. This arrangement allows to synchronize all the antennas and make them work as a single radio telescope that can have a diameter of up to 16 kilometers, allowing it a unique resolution on the planet capable of capturing objects hundreds of billions of light years away. By manipulating the distances at which each antenna is placed, we can change the zoom of the entire observatory. Thus, the longer arrangements give the ALMA radio telescope a zoom lens that allows it to capture the finest details of objects that are extremely far away while the more compact arrangements provide better sensitivity for larger and dimmer objects. Millimeter and submillimeter light. ELMA can study cosmic light that extends on both sides of the boundary between radio waves and infrared light waves. These types of waves are classified in astronomy as millimeter and submillimeter light. Most objects in the universe emit this type of energy, so the ability to detect it has been an engine for astronomers for decades. Millimeter and submillimeter light comes from large cold clouds in interstellar space, just a few tens of a degree above absolute zero, and from some of the earliest and most distant galaxies in the universe. Astronomers can use this light to study the chemical and physical conditions that occur in these molecular clouds, which are dense regions of gas and dust where new stars are being born, just like what happens in the large Megalanic Cloud, an area of the universe where there is an enormous star birth activity. Usually, these regions of the universe are not visible to telescopes and remain hidden in the visible range of light, but when observed with radio telescopes, they shine brightly in the millimeter and submillimeter part of the spectrum. This helps us to study the universe more accurately and be able to observe what is hidden before our eyes. Why build soul on top of a desert? Millimeter and submillimeter radiation are one of the most abundant forms of light in the universe and help us study the most distant and ancient areas of the cosmos that are at low temperatures. But unfortunately, the water vapor of the Earth's atmosphere absorbs the signal that reaches us from space before they reach the surface. In other words, the atmosphere traps millimeter and submillimeter light before it reaches the radio telescope on the surface. Therefore, radio telescopes such as ELMA must be built in high and dry places where there is very little or no water vapor. Hence the Chañator Plain in the Atacama Desert in Chile. It is located at 5,000 meters of altitude, which makes it the highest astronomical observatory on Earth. San Pedro de Atacama in northern Chile is one of the driest places on Earth. There prevail unbeatable conditions for astronomical observation. In fact, it is no secret that this is one of the most famous places among amateur astronomers to perform astrophotography, since the climatic conditions allow to have clear skies practically all year round, little cloudiness and almost no rain nor humidity. But operating a first-line observatory in very harsh conditions is a challenge for operators and astronomers. Since Chañator is located 5,058 meters above sea level, surpassing by about 750 meters the Mauna Kea Observatory in Hawaii, and by about 2,400 meters the Cerro Paranal Telescope, where the Very Large Telescope is located. That is why the ALMA facilities have oxygen tanks that help people not to suffer from mountain sickness or dizziness due to the lack of oxygen. Visitors should always have this resource while their body adapts to the extreme conditions in which ALMA is located. Functions of the Soul ALMA is a precision multi-tool for mapping the detailed activities of the cosmos. With its high resolution, we can study the first stars and galaxies that emerged from the cosmic dark age billions of years ago. These objects are located at great cosmic distances, with most of their light extended to millimeter and submillimeter wavelengths by the expansion of the universe. In the nearby universe, ALMA provides unprecedented ability to study the processes of star and planet formation. Without the impediment of dust obscuring the visible light observations, we can observe in detail the young stars that are still forming and the young planets that are still in the process of development. 
Such is the case of the star HL Tauri, located 450 light years away in the constellation Taurus. Thanks to the ALMA radio telescope, it was discovered that around this star there is a ring of molecular dust with an age of less than 100,000 years, which indicates that this is of a recent formation and is an example of how planets form around the stars. Some of the areas in which ALMA specializes are mapping of gas and dust in the Milky Way and other galaxies, star formation research, discovery of exoplanets, studies of the origin of solar wind, Star formation. Star formation is a map of the structure and history of galaxies. Stars form when there is enough gas and dust to produce them. When the great stars explode when they die, they spread through space all the heavy elements that they form throughout their lives. These form the famous planetary nebulae and are responsible for the creation of planetary environments where later systems are formed of planets in which life has become possible in the universe, like the Earth. One of these places is the large Megalanic Cloud, a gigantic structure which is only visible from the southern hemisphere of the Earth and is not visible from countries located in the northern hemisphere such as the USA or the entire European continent. This is where the importance of ALMA lies, since never in history has this region of space been observed with a radio telescope as powerful as ALMA, and when it is finally finished, we will be able to study in detail the formation of thousands of stars and thus understand how solar systems like ours are formed. Until now, we knew that star formation implies a gravitational collapse, but the flow of gas that forms a new star had not been found. But now, with ALMA, we have been able to observe that amazing event. The amazing cartographic accuracy of the ALMA radio telescope allows astronomers to study the characteristics of the mother molecular clouds from which stars form. Their sensitivity, angular resolution, and high frequency velocity and performance allow the study of smaller structures, including fragments of protostellars, these are cosmic gas structures that give rise to stars. Detection of extrasolar planets or exoplanets. One of the most important objectives of this era is to find as many exoplanets as we can, since this way we will have more candidates among which we could find a planet similar or with conditions similar to those of Earth. The exhaustive search for exoplanets with ALMA helps us not only to find the next twin of the Earth, but also to study the formation of these. With the ALMA Observatory, we can study some fundamental aspects of exoplanets such as their origin, their evolution, and how common they are in the universe. To achieve this, scientists need to find and study many more exoplanets. However, detecting very small planets revolving around other stars light years away is a particularly difficult task. As soon as ALMA became operational, it began to provide valuable information about these so-called extrasolar planetary systems at all stages of their evolution. ALMA can see more detail than current optical or infrared telescopes. The longer waves it detects are not scattered or reflected by interplanetary dust, either in the extrasolar system or in our own solar system. Another important advantage is that at millimeter and submillimeter wavelengths, the star does not dazzle or overwhelm the view of its potential planets as it does at shorter wavelengths. While the star is still brighter than a planet, the brightness difference between the two is much smaller when observed with a millimeter radiation spectrum. Thanks to this, the ALMA radio telescope can see planetary systems in the early stages of their formation. It will also be able to detect many more young low mass star systems and determine if they have the disks from which planetary systems form and examine in detail the properties of these disks, including their size, temperature, dust density, and chemistry. In this way, by studying the information and structure of other star systems, we can better understand how ours was formed and with the ALMA Observatory, we can study all this and we may even soon be able to find a planet with characteristics similar to ours. Astrochemistry and Dust Clouds Our solar system as we know it was born approximately 5,000 million years ago from an immense cloud of interstellar dust and gas. These types of clouds are known as molecular clouds and are the places where stars are born like our Sun and its planets. These clouds usually have very low temperatures of between 10 to 50 K. This means that within the cloud, very few collisions occur between molecules that produce chemical reactions. It is incredible to think that such an immensely empty and cold cloud would be capable of creating planets with complex materials like Earth. With the ALMA radio telescope, it has been possible to observe these molecular clouds in the universe. With this, we have learned that although these molecular clouds are cold and low energy, if enough time is allowed to pass, the gas will end up concentrating due to the force of gravity and will form stars with planets and possibly life. The study of these regions of space are of vital importance to understand everything since astronomers think that the chemical process that occur inside these clouds are very similar to those that occurred at the beginning of the universe. Sol and Sun One of the great mysteries of the Sun is why it has a solar corona. A huge atmosphere of super-hot plasma, maybe you didn't know it, but something strange happens on the Sun. In the photosphere, the visible surface of the Sun, 
the temperature is 5880 Kelvin. Then, the temperature decreases with height for several hundred kilometers. At a higher altitude, the temperature increases instead of decreasing and increases little by little. Then, something amazing happens. As you go up, suddenly the temperature rises to 3 million degrees. This is the solar corona, a region far from the sun with an extremely high temperature, even higher than that of its own surface. The Alma Radio Telescope will explore the minimum temperature region of the sun's lower atmosphere to learn how that structure is maintained. At Alma's submillimeter wavelengths, it should be possible to detect hydrogen at certain ions in the sun's lower atmosphere. These molecules will inform us about the temperature, density, strength of the magnetic field, and movements in the lower solar atmosphere, an area that is totally inaccessible by other means of observation. As you can see, the Alma Radio Telescope offers a wealth of tools and instruments that allow us to study various aspects of the universe, such as exoplanets, the birth of stars, the mysteries of the sun, and many more. Best of all, the Alma Observatory's research and discoveries are just beginning, so many amazing discoveries still await us.